Hub, you and your friends at 7-Eleven thinking it can be a normal food video. Taste the spice. This is a promo thing, isn't it? Now we must try. Everybody relax. Wait a while. The spice kick in very hard. Good afternoon, people. Okay, so today, right, uh, we're heading to Juo now because the other time we did the Emart video, the one, the convenience store and everything, and then you guys really liked that video. So you guys mentioned that want to see me do more, want to see 7-Eleven and all. And then we realized that at Juo, right, there's a 7-Eleven cafe, which mm. is very interesting. I've never been there before. So we're going to go there and sort of order a bunch of food and then sort of give you guys a bit of a review, like, you know, very similar to the previous video. Like, talk to you guys when we're there. Yo, okay, so we are here at Jewel. Every time I look at this thing, right, every time I get fascinated by it. Okay, anyway, we found the 7 Eleven at B2. La. They have a bunch of cheesecake, all the ready to eat items here. Of course, they have the those items that you need to heat up, like microwave food as well. But uh, they have a good amount of all these like cheesecakes, uh, which I'm gonna try. Croissant. Let's see what else they have here. Oh, they got nuggets. Huh? Nuggets, drumlet. Yeah, I see nuggets here. Okay, so yeah, let's explore the store a little bit. 7 eleven has got everything. Oh, they got a lot more like items I've never seen before. Eh. This one, they got winter melon tea here, they got like soy milk, almond milk. Wait, they got scissors cut there. Eh. What the heck? You know the scissors <laughs> cut, the one that we, we went to do like a giant plate. I met this guy, he was there. Eh. Taste the spice. This is a promo thing, isn't it? Now we must try. Should be a walk in the park since. I'm the spice lot already. <laughs> <laughs> Prawn sambal fried rice. This one is spicy one. Chili crab linguine. This one is also spicy one. Here's the thing. I don't know how spicy it's going to be. But I don't think it's going to go to the point that it's going to be very uncomfortable. Oh, this one. Ghost pepper. Okay, this one is definitely the spiciest. Wow, this whole section is all the spicy stuff. Spicy Japanese curry chicken. Udok chicken rice cakes. Oh wow, something different. Never seen this before. Okay, so this. We're gonna try all this. I wanna try this as well. <laughs> the scissors cut! Oh, the, oh, that sandwich looks so good though. I'm gonna try the tom yum one. This one I've never seen before. I'm gonna try the tom yum one. Okay, yeah, I found another sandwich. This one looks good also. Katsu one. This is not spicy, uh. this is not part of the spicy menu, but we're gonna try it also. Ooh, okay, I saw the spicy one already. Spicy rice with tuna, mayo, onigiri. Most of the onigiri I tried before. Eh? Most of it is quite decent. Eh? Since we are at it, right? Might as well we try some of the spicy instant ramen as well. Try all. We stay already. Today is not really a challenge. Spicy jajangmyeon. I never tried spicy jajangmyeon before. This one is also very spicy. So guys, I'm gonna heat up the items now because a good amount of items needs to heat up and needs to like you know uh, I need to cook them. So I heat up some of the items. And then uh, we lay them out. I, I, I actually want to just stand and eat, but actually it would be better if, we, if I lay everything out. Uh. So, okay, we heat out everything and then we see how this goes. So there's like different heating instructions on uh, this is number one. So you, you, you press one and then you heat. This is number two, okay? Not all the sandwiches are one, uh, okay? Some is two, some is one. Uh. So you press two, 20 seconds, okay? Oh, look at that. Okay, so there is three sandwiches here. Um, this is a not spicy one. And these two are the spicy options now, apparently. I'm gonna start eating from the from the things that I think is not gonna be that spicy first. Then we're gonna slowly move up the scale. This is the creamy tom yum sandwich. That's big eh? Wait, it is big eh? I don't think it's gonna be that spicy. I don't smell any heat coming from here. When you bite down right, you taste the lemongrass straight away. Yeah, the lemongrass. I think you'll know that it's some sort of tom yum dish. Uh. It reminds me of what, you know? It reminds me of ota. It feels as if you're eating ota, you see? Double combo sandwich, eh? It's a double combo sandwich with like, um, black pepper, okay, black pepper mayo la. I think, Lex, this one also, you, even you can handle. I got a feeling it's not gonna be that bad. No spice at all. Uh, it's actually sweet more than spice. But it's actually very good. Uh, I like the combination. Black pepper mayo is actually very good. It's just a typical egg and ham sandwich. But they use black pepper mayo. Okay, next up. This one, the last sandwich I'm gonna try. This one got no spice at all. This 
good actually. Yeah. Looks good, huh? Yeah. Smells good also. Eh? Oh, wow. It's actually good. Eh? Okay, the chicken a bit tough, right? okay, but, but when you rate it, when you rate it with micro standards, right, you cannot picky. Because the chicken is still very well flavoured. Eh? There's tons of potatoes inside as well. Mm. Cups on cups. Eh? That's okay. I like it. There's a specific instruction to unwrap this onigiri. Step one. Put this one down. This one, I could smell the heat already. This is spicy. I don't think you can handle this. This is spicy. Yeah. That is like tuna, spicy tuna mayo inside. Okay, initially I thought that it's spicy mayo, right? So it's not gonna be that spicy. But this one is spiky with chili party. Eh? So it's definitely got a good amount of heat to it. Yeah. It's just pretty good, actually. If you can handle spice, you will love this orange juice. Okay, let's heal everything. We try everything. Wow, this one smells super good. What is that? It's a of pasta. Let me try some coconut water. Wow, I actually want to save this for later, but it's okay. Wow, this one got the pop inside, isn't it? The meat, you mean? Yeah, coconut meat inside. Wow, this is really tasty. Though. It tastes like an actual, actual coconut water. Three days later. Okay, you don't want to you don't want to drain it completely. Okay, you want to leave a bit of the a bit of water lah, but make it a little bit more liquidy, so it's easier to uh, mix the thing. Spicy jajangmyeon. Actually, I can straight away review this one now. Yeah, let's do it now, man. Spicy jajangmyeon. Let's do it, man. Spicy, spicy, but good. It's as spicy as the Samyang, the fire noodle. But it's just, it's just got a bit of that black bean, the, the jajangmyeon taste, or a bit sweeter. Okay, this one is the Maggie, yeah, this one. Okay, this one, this one, not the Korea one, doesn't have that mechanism. So I'm just gonna do it manually like that. I lost half the packet for this one. So it's not like the full blown flavor, but it still smells really good. Now I'm gonna heat up. Actually, I forgot there's the chipotle wrap and the fiery, fiery chicken one time. This one reminds me of what, you know? The one we did, I did with Mervin one. EB, 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 EB. Yeah, yeah, that one. Okay, so uh, we got the rest of the items laid out here. I'm gonna try this one first. This one been sitting out too long maybe. Okay, this one. Uh, the last time I had this was 2019. And back then when I had this one, right, I couldn't handle the spice. It's too spicy. But it's a lot more enjoyable now. I actually prefer this one more than the Korean Samyang noodle. Let's move on to the highlights here, okay? Okay, so we happen to bump into some viewers, okay? So we invite them to sort of come and eat with us, okay? Come on, come on, come on. What is her name? Queenie. Queenie. Okay, you can take a spice, right? Yes. Okay, come bring me. Okay, she got this as well. This is the topoki. Okay, the topoki one. Okay, so what is your spice level like? Pretty high. Pretty, pretty high. I think it like double Korean double spicy. Oh, oh, that one is very high. Korean, um, Korean two times, right? That one is a very high threshold. Why, why do you pick this one? You like this one, is it? Okay, I've never seen this before. Huh? This is the rice cake, uh, the Korean rice cake, the topoki with I think some sort of chicken and then there's a side of like cream corn on it. Okay, I don't know how spicy this is gonna be. I'm not gonna I'm gonna put my chopsticks away first. I'm gonna use she she used pork uh, so I'm gonna use pork as well. Come lie 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 we try we, okay wait uh, I wanna get a piece of the rice cake along with the chicken. Just she like rushing it okay come let's go it's actually very good. Hey, the, I like the I like the spices on the chicken, it's very nice. And then the, the topoki is very nice and chewy. Chew chew. Oh, this is good. Try a bit of corn. Hey, this is good. I actually should try this. No. Oh, one bite, yeah. No. Just try, man. You try behind the camera so no one can see. <laughs> <laughs> so how this is? Honey, wait, Koma. Manageable. Manageable. 
How long have you been watching the channel? Like, three years. Covid ah? Yeah, Covid. Oh, before Covid. Hey, don't, don't, don't kill him. He needs to film. <laughs> hey, I, I think there's another, there's another way to eat this. You mix, mix in a bit of the, the corn. I get a bit of the rice cake, you put a bit of the corn. I think this will reduce the heat uh, for those that cannot handle spice. Does, it, does it reduce the heat? I don't know whether it reduces the heat or not, but it gives it a lot more moisture, a lot more sauce, and I really enjoy it. If we try this together, since you're here, might as well. These are the spicy chicken wonton. It looks very similar to the Hong Yu Chao So. Like, careful, you're wearing white, I'm very scared for you. La la la, ni ni, you you just. Oi, oh, yeah. I see the way the dumpling looks very big. Oh, suddenly the E B. Oh, these are good. Oh, these are good. It's good. It's not spicy. It's not numbing as well. You know, some is very very numbing. This one is not the mala. You know, it's not numbing. It's very siang. Very aromatic. Yeah. yeah. Very aromatic. Uh, it's got a bit of that umami that's coming from the. I think. I think the chili they added like dry shrimps into it. Very very nice. This is very good. this is good flavor. Come Steven, try. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna move on to something else. Already. Slurpy break. Okay, I rarely get rim grease though. But this is very good. It's called lychee light. Uh. I don't know. Is it got zero calories or something? I don't know why it's called light. Hey, wait, where's my fork? Okay, next up I'm gonna try this one first. This is the dark dark pasta, creamy dark pasta or something. Wait, they put a lot of chili parties, ah. They really put a lot of chili party. Almost every bite you can get one chili party, I think. Okay, don't worry, I'm I'm spice lot, so I'm gonna get two chili party in one bite. You know what this is, ah? It tastes like carbonara. You know carbonara? Carbonara pasta, right? Then they added like uh, smoked duck inside. And then they added chili party. It's kind of acquired the taste. It's really very similar to a carbonara kind of cheesy, yeah, you're right, cheesy, creamy sauce. And then you add the spice, right? So it's like you're adding spice to carbonara. It works for me. La. I'm not sure about some of you guys because I know I, I got some friends who are like very like pro-Italian food one. They're gonna think this is like a like like a, a, a domination, yeah. I can't really taste much of the smoked duck. La. But the chili party addition gives it a very nice heat. Okay, this one is spicy. At the end, right? I'm gonna give you guys a bit of a ranking of like which item is the spiciest and which item is like uh, is like acceptable for most people. Let me get another bite. So I'm gonna swirl it nicely. Nope. Next <laughs> up, this one. This is the prawn sambal fried rice. I could smell the sambal already, okay? I could smell the the dry shrimp, all that roasted dry shrimp flavor. Okay, there's actual shrimps on it. Oh, this is good fried rice. Eh? Spicy aside, this is good fried rice. There's some eggs and cashew. No, I like this one. It is spicy for sure. Like this is the kind of spice that will build up on you. Eh? Like slowly creeps in, you know, but very, very fragrant. Like I said, it, the, the sambal got a very nice dry shrimp flavor. Packed with umami. Really good for my curry food though. They give you a lot of the shrimp. The shrimp it still tastes quite bouncy, one. Okay, from the spicy selection, right? By far, it's the best item. But I think, right, when you heat this thing up, right, you add a bit of water inside, uh, so make it a bit more moist. I think it will taste a lot better. If not, this is a bit dry. If now, right, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take a break from the super spicy one. I'm gonna try the jian tao jian. Hey guys, Caesar's cut curry, uh, They are my favorite curry rice in Singapore. I don't know what they, they still even got the Kole Thai one. Eh. <laughs> I'm gonna take a bite first. Then I see, I tell you guys whether it replicates. Eh. Yeah. All this like um all the cabbage, right? It's still got a lot of moisture. Eh. The flavor is still there. At least I could I could tell that it's from scissors cut off. Oh. Wow. Oh look at that. You're like me staying in the west, right? Middle of the night, your, your house downstairs is 7-Eleven. You don't want to drive all the way to Jalan Versa to eat, right? 
Gorilla Brothers one. Still got about 70% of his Kung Fu there. Okay, next up, okay, this one. This is what I thought is the spiciest one, okay? And I think it's really the spiciest because I could smell the heat from here already. I can smell the heat from the chicken as well. Let me mix the noodles up real good. Wow, I not oh my god. It's that kind of like, like the Korean spicy noodle kind of, kind of like, you know. You wanna take a week? You wanna take a week? Okay, wait, I got another viewer that I'm gonna invite him in because the other time, about, I don't know how long, about a year or two ago, he tried the ghost pepper from 7 Eleven. The ghost pepper noodle from 7 Eleven. He mentioned that he died. Uh. Okay, so I'm gonna invite him in and we see what happens today. Okay, come, bro. Okay, bro, what is the name? Bobby Chan. Huh? Oh, name? My name is uh, Brian, Brian. Brian, okay, Brian. So, the last time you tried it, it looks like that also. No, I don't, don't have the chicken. Don't have the chicken. Oh, last time it's still... Oh, okay, okay, okay. The other time you tried the cup noodle, how, how bad was it? I think two bites. Uh, we'll we'll sweat right now. Yeah, we'll sweat yeah, right now. Yeah, yeah, okay, la, it's spice slot already. Okay, come, bro. We're gonna do this together, okay? We're in this together, uh, bro. Okay, come. Let's go. Are you ready? Okay. I'm ready, I'm ready. It's really... It's really spicy, this one. I could feel it, this one is really spicy. It's, you know, if you, you guys know the Korean two times spicy noodles, right? This is that kind of level. And it's the dry heat, uh. it's not that it's the kind of that will sting you and uh. it sting you and it stick to you. <laughs> it sticks to you. Okay, let's try the chicken patty. Hey, okay, still enjoyable, still enjoyable. This one smells like I don't know why. It tastes exactly like a I'm not sure I'm able to say this, but it tastes exactly like yeah. It's more young, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly like I agree, I agree. If you guys like spice, right? You guys gonna love this one. This noodle got flavor one. Uh. It's a little bit on the sweeter side. Yes. A little bit on the sweeter side. Then when you eat it, right, it the heat doesn't come right away. It'll come after like a few bites and then it'll, it'll burn your throat that kind of it, You can use this to challenge your friends, but it's still tasty. Man. It's not that kind of that kind of spice that is just pure heat, pure pain. Okay, this one got quite tasty. And then with the this chicken that tastes a bit like it's actually very enjoyable. Hey, the chicken is damn sure. It will relax. Wait a while. The spice kick in very hard on me. Show me some suffering. Well, guys, I take that back. The the, the noodle is not gonna hit me. Right I gonna come. Oh, you know last time it's the there's a lever here. Then you do this. Now no. Now you press the button. You put it here. Press the start. And wow. it start to sing. This is so good. Huh? You know, usually for ice cream, right, the, the grape flavor one, it will taste a bit like shobei. But this one, right, was so creamy. It's not because of the spice, that's why, you know, I'm enjoying this so much. It's, it's legit good. I just hope that they will bring back the chendo flavor. Enough of the break. Time to move on with the, this one. <laughs> okay, come. We're gonna try this Japanese curry. It looks like a legit, you know, Japanese curry that you can get from I don't know, go go with Japania. Okay, okay, oh look at that. You know, man, I can't eat fun, I can't eat raw. They're damn funny, huh? I'm gonna get a bit more rice, and I'm gonna get a bit of the eggs into this bite. Okay, let's try. Very rich, very creamy. I'm not sure it's because I ate the ghost pepper noodles now. This thing doesn't taste spicy at all. Okay. It's a little bit sweet. The typical Japanese curry, okay? 7 Eleven really up their game uh, for their ready to eat item. Lex was telling me 7 Eleven all, all along, right? Their ready to eat item is all very solid, right? Yeah, quite, yeah. Like my favorite, right? My favorite all time uh, is still their butter chicken biryani. Oh. Steven, right? They keep giving Steven food, they're gonna feed Steven until Steven get fat, you know? <laughs> Effort, now, uh, guys. They use the. They use the short grain rice. Uh. This is not the basmati rice, uh, the short grain rice that typically you've seen in Japanese cuisine. Uh. All the dumburi, they use this kind of rice. And they use that kind of rice. So the rice is a little bit stickier. Goes very well with the curry. Okay, this one. What is this? Chipotle chicken wrap, right? I think it's not too spicy. Okay, come, let's try. I think this is my favorite item. It's a very creamy chipotle sauce. 
And they added a bunch of like pickled vegetables inside. There's like pickled cucumbers. This tastes like what, you know? This tastes like a kebab. You go to Pasamala, you order a kebab, right? Tastes exactly like it. I just came back from KL. I had a shawarma there. Okay, I have a shawarma there. And this one really tastes kind of similar to a shawarma. So this is why I say this one is good. The sauce and everything pair up very nicely. Not spicy at all. This one, no spice. But this is good. Okay, so we're gonna come to, I come to my last item already. This is, ooh. Hey, the mixability looks so good there. Look at that. I'm gonna try the sauce on its own first. Not bad. I don't, I don't really eat a lot of chili crab pasta, but I got a feeling this one is gonna be good. It's good. Um, it's got those noticeable chunks of crab in there. Okay, lots of. Uh, okay, I'm not sure if it's a lot lah, but I've seen a lot and I taste a few already. Those like nuggets of crab meat inside. The sauce is very good. I'm not sure where that recipe came from, but uh, it's a very sweet and tangy sauce. It tastes like chili crab. Like, if you blindfold me, I know that this is a this is chili crab sauce right away. This is what I'm talking about. A lot of this inside the pasta. Okay, honestly, uh, I think if this is a little bit spicier, a little bit less sweet, it's perfect. Right now, it's a bit too sweet. And the, the spice is not aggressive enough. Like, you want to take one bite. Uh. Okay, today right, today we ate everything very quickly. Everything bum 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 bum, then because still got viewers join us very fast, we finish a good amount of the food already. Okay, anyways, we come to the end. Uh, I got two smoothie. I'm gonna go try this smoothie while I do the outro. Oh, it's so thick though. Woo. Woo. Oh, this is a matcha prep. Okay, I cannot drink a lot of this. Later, then I cannot sleep. Very nice. Eh? Tastes as good as the Starbucks one. Right? Come to the end of this video. Again, because this is a concept that you guys fancy so much. So uh, we decided to do another one. The Chantu Chat one, the EMA24, all these are like concepts that I can sneak in in between those crazy binge eating shoots. Okay. Because this these are the videos that I don't really eat a lot. I sort of enjoy the food and give you guys tasting notes and get viewers to come down uh, and sort of like, you know, eat with you guys, get to know you guys a bit more. Okay, anyways, okay, most of the food I've eaten today, right, are generally quite good. Okay, especially the spicy menu. My favorite item, lah, a bit hard for me to choose lah, because there's a few favorites. Lah. There's not one thing that I really, really like, but I really enjoy the sambal fried rice. I really enjoy that that dumpling, that shrimp wonton, not shrimp, the chicken wonton thing. That one is super, super good. This two, lah, this two is like my... If in the middle of the night I get hungry, right, and I really want something, right, I'll come down and I'll just get this too. Okay, so as I mentioned just now, right, I'm gonna rank the spice level. Hands down, uh, the ghost pepper is definitely the spiciest. If you cannot take spice, don't bother with it. That one is like, that's above the two-time Korean spicy noodle. Followed by the smoked duck, the smoked duck, um, carbonara. cream, uh, carbonara, cream, the one with chili body. Uh, that one is quite spicy as well. Most of the spice level, right, are very acceptable. Okay, it's just the ghost pepper is a lick above all of them. Okay, that one is really, really spicy. Don't be afraid to try, okay? Except for the ghost pepper, the rest of the items, don't be afraid to try because there are some items, right, that you can barely really taste any heat, right? But it's tasty, okay? Okay, so that's it, okay? That's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Okay, again, I'm at Jewel. And all these spicy items are, are not only limited to Jewel, okay? You can find them at your at the 7 Eleven near you. Uh. Okay, so anyway, I checked just now, okay? All these spicy items, right, they are all gonna be around until 11 April. Okay, so we can go and try now. Okay, so that's it, okay? Quick, convenient 7 Eleven video for you guys. If you guys wanna watch more of this video, drop me a comment down below on which stores you guys wanna watch me go and review, go and destroy, go and whatever. Okay, just go, drop me a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you guys. Okay, so that's it, okay? I will see you guys in the next one. Alright, I'm gonna walk around Jewel now. Go to Pokemon Center. <laughs>